It is the 16th of the 7th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Very hot here in Des Moines. Uh, let's get started. SOT.net Anchorage experiences coldest first half of July ever. Uh, Anchorage, Alaska, looking for le relief from the heat over much of the lower 48 states. Head to coastal Alaska where they are experiencing the coldest first half of July on record. Uh, through the first 14 days of July, the average temperature in Anchorage was 53.1 degrees, factoring in daily highs and lows, which makes it the coldest first half of the month on record, according to the National Weather Service in Anchorage. Uh, with all the Fukushima stuff coming out over uh, Alaska right now, probably not my first choice in vacation spots. Landslide in Alaska may be the largest recorded in North America. Uh, landslides, of course, occur in all 50 states and territories, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. And um, seeing this uh, landslide took place on June 11, 2012, but uh, nobody uh, bothered to go take a look at it. It actually registered on earthquakes. And a uh, pilot flew over about a month later, later and took some pictures. Apparently this landslide's over six miles long on top of a glacier uh, down a valley. <laughs> I saw the picture and read the story. Pretty crazy. Freak wave of tornadoes curved trail of destruction through northern Poland, leaving one dead. A freak wave of tornadoes ripped through northern Poland on Sunday, wrecking houses and swaths of forests and leaving one person dead and another ten injured. Tornadoes are not unknown to Europe, uh, Europe's, European Union's largest eastern country, but the scope and power of Sunday's twisters was unusual as it comes in a summer already marked by flash floods, hailstorms, and gales. Uh, crazy weather going all over. Flashy storm slashes area turns night into day over Tri-Cities, Washington State. Uh, there were a lot of tired people in the Tri-Cities on Saturday after, after an early morning electrical storm rattled homes and flashed bright lights through windows. The system led to a severe thunderstorm warning and the National Weather Service also uh, cooled down in mid-Columbia after a string of 100 plus degree days. So uh, they got a little relief. Stormageddon, 5,000 cut off by landslides in Japan as death toll rises to 22. Uh, of course, there are a lot of videos out on this and just crazy weather going on. Japan and China hit by torrential rains. Of course, China reports over 3 million people displaced. Um, just insanity going on during their monsoon seasons this year. Another story. Colorado sinkhole closes highway continues to grow. Uh, this is that sinkhole I covered earlier uh, that shut down Highway 24 at mile marker 165. And apparently the sinkhole is continuing to expand. Extreme weather. Drought turns to floods as Houston goes underwater. Uh, this was back on the 13th. Since Tuesday, 5 to 15 inches of rain has fallen around Houston, producing many instances of flooding. A heavy rain is drenching water plagued area now and has flash flood warnings in effect through 2.45 p.m. local time. And uh, I believe, let's just go ahead and go over to the RSOE, because I know Austin is reporting those. Yeah, Austin's reporting extreme weather, flooding in low-lying areas, uh, heavy rain right now on the RSOE. Uh, forest fire in uh, Montenegro, uh, one of their forces on fire. Uh, heat wave in Greece, so uh, reports of heat wave coming out of southern Europe. Extreme weather out of Canada, apparently they had a barbecue fest out there and there were several hundred people uh, rushed under the tent when this uh, flash storm come out of nowhere and uh, started downpouring. Well, apparently lightning struck the tent and over 17 people were sent to the hospital. Uh, everybody was released, but it was a pretty crazy sight. Uh, very interesting read. Uh, flash flooding in Arizona. They've got some uh, heavy downpours uh, yesterday, I believe. And, uh, of course, they're flood-prone areas. People driving their cars through when they're telling them not to, that kind of thing. Uh, flash flooding in the Philippines as their rainy season continues. Um, over 300 families were replaced there. Flood warnings in Tasmania, uh, Australia. Um, some storms and flooding going on there. 
Of course, the extreme weather going on in China with all those people displaced. Forest fire in, uh, on an island off of Italy. Sardinia Island. Flash flooding in the state of Utah. St. George, St. Clara, Snow Canyon State Park and uh, Vio. And they got some heavy rains and uh, water going over the roads and that kind of thing there. Uh, extreme weather at Austin, Texas. Again, that's that's the heavy downpours and the flooding going on in the Austin area today. Yeah, big snowstorm in South Africa, multiple regions. Uh, when everything from heavy snow to uh, actual deluges of rain and, and flooding that way, uh, they've got a huge mess to clean up down there. Uh, Jerusalem uh, Hills Forest in Israel. Uh, is on fire. Apparently they're having some arson fires. This is the second one within two weeks. They got over 33 trucks on it. Uh, so it seems like it's a very extensive fire indeed. Uh, the tornado in Poland stories, of course. Um, and again, the heat waves and drought reports coming all across the United States. Let's just go ahead and do the, uh, the nuclear stuff over to E&E News. Lawmaker questions Japan Prime Minister. He let people die in Fukushima. I want him to resign immediately. He should be brought up on charges along with the rest of them, if you ask me. Uh, Kyoto, 170,000 people at rally in central Tokyo. Uh, aerial video and photos are av um, available to watch. Uh, as much as the government and the police are trying to suppress these protests going on in Japan right now, uh, they continue to grow and grow and grow and expand. Um, the police are starting to use some pretty crazy tactics as far as sealed off buses and designated protest zones. And uh, I say if they shut off the little protest, just build a bigger protest around the police zone, they'll let you in. Uh, they're going to continue to try to kettle, kettle you. Uh, Mayor, debris fell from the sky after Unit 1 explosion. Quote, I thought it might be the end. Many people were still in town and everybody stopped talking for a moment. There's a video on that. Uh, alarms go off at Japanese nuclear plant trying to restart. Rise at pressure, rise in pressure at number four reactor's primary coolant system. I believe that's the OI. Head researcher, California bluefin, bluefin tuna with Fukushima cesium in waters near Japan for under a month? Question mark. What will they look like after spending an entire life there? And uh, they've got an audio report on that. Uh, the Pacific Ocean, uh, they, the Germans just released this um, report where the initial Fukushima release and how the Pacific, Nor uh, the Pacific Ocean on the California side, west coast of the United States, going to more than double its radioactivity uh, due to the Fukushima accident. What they did not take into consideration when they did that study was the continued outflow of uh, billions and billions and billions of becquerels per kilogram um, coming out of the rivers and the three melted through nuclear uh, cores into the Pacific Ocean. So this is a cumulative, again, I say this over and over. Um, so that report is just a tease on what's really going on in the Pacific Ocean and will continue um, to become more radioactive as the time flies. A uh, nuclear hearing rocked by alleged government shill. Meeting managed by advertising agency. Uh, only the Japanese. Uh, former New York Times journalist goes inside. No entry zone. Reports radiation levels over 10 times higher than TEPCO's data. So again, they're lying to us. They've been lying to us. They will continue to lie to us until the very end. The uh, world's food chain is being compromised by radioactive substances from Fukushima Daiichi. Levels unexpectedly high in California bluefin tuna. Cesium-134 and 137 detected in sand from San Francisco Bear Bay Area Yard. And uh, it goes on and on and on and on. Physician, I've searched surfed all over the world and I don't ever really want to go in the Pacific Ocean again because of Fukushima radiation. And on and on and on and on and on and it will continue to go on and on and on and on and on. 
for a couple million years, several million years before it's okay again. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.